All right, here's my modified feeder right here. We have some marbles down in the bottom. I'm fixing to open this baby up. It's full of, uh, it's got sugar syrup. It also has the, uh, has the Fat Bee Man's, uh, Fat Bee Man's, uh, mineral, not mineral, what am I trying to say? Essential oil mix in it. So hopefully the bees will dig it. It's three gallons. Um, hopefully the bees won't get in here and die. So we'll see. So, nice little feeder. Yeah, now you saw Bennett while I go did this video. This is my Fat Bee Man Brood Builder Concoction. This has a teaspoon of tea tree oil, has teaspoon of wintergreen oil, teaspoon of spearmint oil, five drops of lemongrass oil, made into a concentration, and I added a cup of that. This was three and a half gallons. I actually added it into a five gallon bucket and poured three and a half gallons into here, and the bees have absolutely cleaned it out. Now these bees right here are the bees that live in this sweet old barn right here with the six colonies. But y'all, this is three and a half gallons since last night. We put this out late last night. And I'm pretty sure up inside of this container, because I see the bees going in the nozzle over there, uh, where they're clustered up the most, those bees are absolutely wearing it out. I'm starting to get peppered with bee bumps. I got busted in the eye yesterday, so I'm a little cautious. I don't have my veil on. But uh, this is phenomenal. Six colonies of bees just absolutely wearing this out. I, I want to see if y'all can see how many bees there are clustered right there going in and out of that nozzle. So running Reb told me to cover that up or I'd drown a few, but I didn't cover it up. So good advice, Running Reb. Maybe next time. Thanks. This is Byron with Running Dog Apiary. Y'all come go with us.